Yom Tov, good day. This is Stephen Bruck. You're watching Messianic Moment Ministries. And thank you for being here on this 23rd day of July, 2020. By the way, if you're thinking I look a little, you know, scruffy, well, there's a certain name for this style. It's called retired. Anyway, <clears throat> let's get into the question of is God a racist? And in a manner of speaking, yes, he is. Now, when the daughters of Zalafahad as for judgment from Moses about inheriting their father's land, God told them they are to marry within their own tribe. That's Numbers 36 6. God also said that when dealing with other peoples, the children of Israel are not to intermarry, and repeats this constantly throughout the Bible, Deuteronomy 7 3, Joshua 23 12, 1 Kings 11 12, and that's just to name a few places. So it's, it's pretty clear that God is a racist. He's wanting to maintain a pure-blooded nation to serve him. In other words, there to be no mudbloods for you Harry Potter fans within the children of Israel. Even Yeshua tells the Samaritan woman that he has come only for the lost sheep of Israel, going as far as to imply that she and her people were like dogs. Uh, that's Matthew 15, 26. Yet... <clears throat> We know that God is a God of love and compassion for all people. He's told us that he doesn't want any sinner to die. That's Ezekiel 18.23. And that includes Gentiles. So how can he love everyone, yet tell his chosen people to be racist? Well, you know, the answer is fairly simple. <clears throat> God is not a physical racist. He is a spiritual purist, meaning he doesn't want anyone to worship other gods. He wants spiritual purity, not racial purity. We can see this throughout the Bible. For example, Rahab was a Canaanite, but she was accepted and adopted as a member of the people of Israel when she converted. Moses' wife, Zipporah, she was raised as a Midianite and her father. He was a chief and priest of Midian. Yet when she married Moses, she converted to his form of worship. And when Ruth converted from her Moabite paganism, not only was she accepted by God, but he made her an ancestor of the Messiah. You know, many times in the Torah, that Torah, I, I'm, I'm channeling Barbara Walters, many times in the Torah, <laughs> we read how God commands that any person who sojourns with his chosen people meaning converts to worship the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and live by God's instructions, that person is to be considered as much a child of Israel as a native born. People who are racist hate those who are of a different skin color or nationality or religion. They judge by what they see. However, as we are often told, God doesn't judge as people do because he sees the heart and the mind Yes, God is a racist in a way, but not based on the color of their skin or the place they were born. God judges based on what they worship, how they live, and how they treat others. If we want to label the type of racism God demonstrates, it is the type where he is against all who worship any other God or thing than himself and reject his instructions on how we should live and treat others. God isn't concerned about marrying out of your religion or someone of different skin color. What God is concerned about is that you both believe in him, accept Yeshua as your Messiah and Savior, and live your lives in obedience to the instruction, instructions he gave us as best you can. I'm Jewish. My wife was raised Catholic, so within Judaism, I was wrong to marry her. But we both believe in God and Yeshua, and we try to live as God wants us to live, and yes, there are some things that are different. We have different levels of spiritual maturity. We aren't both exactly on the same page when it comes to Kashrut. And we differ in passion for reading the Bible. But what is important is that we both worship God and accept Yeshua as our Messiah. The rest of the stuff we're constantly working on, as is everyone else. God is not a racist like we understand racism, and he's not a bigot as we understand bigotry. But he is absolutely determined that everyone should worship him and live their lives as he has instructed us. 
if that is racism, well, so be it. So look, here's the difference. Human racism essentially condemns the racist to hell, whereas God's form of racism saves their life and brings them into eternal joy. Amen. Well, thank you for being here. And please subscribe. Click the icons here. Go back to the website. Click the little subscribe button in the right hand margin there. Share these messages of elders. Yeah. New, mate, new day. New mouth. Well, uh, share these messages with others. And please help this ministry grow. If you like what you hear, check out my books on the website. And I look forward to the next time we get together. So until next time, we eat rot and Baruch Hashem.